it's me Mario and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another art unboxing video um, if you like art or music or food or traveling or anime maybe I don't know I like a lot of different things if you like also probably Minecraft um, click subscribe and alerts and all these other things leave me a comment below of what you want me to paint with my new art supplies because I don't have any ideas yet so I want to paint an anime character maybe so comment below your favorite character from a film or an anime and maybe I will paint those with my new art supplies I wasn't make, I'm planning to make another art supply video haul so soon but um, I ordered well my art box my artful box came uh, last week and then I ordered myself a present which was another art supply box but this one I've been very very excited about so I follow an artist on Instagram called Hey Carla and she's based in Finland and she does wonderful wonderful landscapes and kind of character art it's like oh, I don't know comic art I'm not sure but it's very like cool landscapes with people in them and I love her style it's very kind of ethereal and dreamy and it's just very very beautiful and she uses inks as her medium instead of watercolors and so I've always been really really interested to try and use the things that she uses um, and she does twice a year make these art supply boxes where she fills boxes with just things that she uses inks brushes masking fluid paper all sorts of stuff um, and so I've been saving up for over a year <coughs> to get myself one of these boxes because they're not cheap but they are worth it <laughs> um, so Hey Kawa at the minute has a thing with shipping and Brexit so you have to order actually more than the box to get your shipping um, and so I ordered two extra sets of inks which I wasn't sad about but it was a little bit more money um, and so I'm going to show you all the things that I got and then probably do something with them in another video maybe I'll swatch some of them in this video we will see so to start off with I'll show you the two extra sets of inks that I bought so this one is the Bark Browns ink set so this is one of her illustrations on the front it's beautiful very very cute so this comes with uh, three different colors which I can't read at the minute old golden green ochre and burnt sienna and I got this because I thought it was good for doing skin tones um, and I just you know I thought that, that I, I don't have a lot of browns and I have a lot of other colors so I just thought browns would be good so let's open this in a really inefficient way because my craft knife is over there and I don't want to get up and get it uh, open 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 so here we go so we open this up and each bottle is like this so we have how much 12 milliliters of each ink which doesn't sound like a lot but you water these down um, and so then you know they, they it's it becomes they, they, they last a long time basically so this is the ochre I don't know it's not going to focus on it but this is the ochre this is the green golden green and this is the burnt sienna so these were the first set of three that i bought um which i'm super excited about um because i mean i just like new mediums and i think that playing around with these inks is going to be really cool um it's a good way to experiment the second one of these that I got was the Pebble Greys ink set. So this is another one of Hey Colors illustrations um, of a little kind of witchy girl, which she used all three of these colors in this illustration. So this is umber, sepia, and black. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and so they will, I'm not gonna open these. The bottles are gonna look the same, so it's cool. Uh, but the illustration is really nice i'll hold that up a little bit closer see i love her style it's very very cute i like it so the box itself is this <laughs> and it's got hey colors illustrations on it with people holding the different art materials i love 
that she just made an entire like she designed an entire box um and when you open it up i have opened it but i haven't looked at all the things but you open it up and there's like a note that says thank you it says thank you for getting the hey carla art supply box this set is carefully selected as a carefully selected assortment of my personal favorite suppliers for creating ink paintings i always feel tremendous joy when i can inspire others with my art and i wanted to take that idea further by putting together this set for you to get inspired and create your own masterpieces I am so grateful for your support and want you to know that by buying this set, you directly support me creating more art. Thank you. I hope you will enjoy the supplies in this set and take them with you on your art journey. Please recycle the packing materials accordingly, which is a nice note. Um, but yeah, I got one of the reasons I got this is because as an artist myself, like I'm always really grateful when people support me and like the little bit of money that I make off selling prints every month is quite handy to me in general I put it into savings and like I put it back into doing more art um and so I like to support small artists when I when I can so this is a really cool thing it was expensive but it was like directly supporting her which I think is really cool um inside if you can see this uh there's her drawings of everything that you get which I think is really cool I'm gonna keep this box I think it's too nice to throw away um I'm gonna put it on the floor for now <laughs> Um, so the first thing we're going to pull out is the owner's guide. So the owner's guide is a small leaflet listing all the supplies you can find in this box with some handy tips. So there is a mixing guide for mixing inks because mixing inks is mixed through a different kind of medium to other things. But then there's also like suggestions on how to use everything in here from the aqua wash pen to the masking tape, oh, she said masking tape, to the masking fluid, to all of this which is really cool um, and some of the stuff I don't have so this is really really nice and some of the stuff I have had before and I have run out of it so that's cool so the first thing we're going to pull out is this and I love this I actually took this out yesterday and I showed it to my mum because it has Hey Carla's logo on it and it's made of this really nice um, leathery kind of material and inside this wonderful box we have all of our pens and our paintbrushes I think or just our pens so we have uh i think this is a pen towel let me look at my guide we have a pen towel pocket brush pen which i should have got more of when i was in japan i really should have done more art supply shopping but i did also come back with like three times the luggage that i left with anyway so um so we have this then we have the aqua wash pencil aqua wash medium I have some of these, but I don't have a pencil one. I actually don't use these that often, so I might start trying to use these a little bit more. And then we have the nylon nib mask masking fluid. So this is the one that she uses, and it comes out in blue. Um, and I don't have one with a nib, um, so that will be quite an interesting thing to use. I, I got one with my artful box as well, but that one was one you need to use a brush with, and I usually ruin my brushes doing that. So here we have a plastic eraser and another plastic eraser. One is yellow. The mono eraser is a good eraser for erasing pencil lines. And this is exceedingly good for erasing colored pencils, which is actually cool. I don't have one of these. So I'm really, really excited that I got that. So I'll put these back in. I think it's really cool that they came in this. Like, I might use this for brushes or like pens holding all my pens and pencils when I'm traveling because I think this would be quite a nice little travel art box so next up I'm gonna put this here so I can see all the things next up we have this so everything is also wrapped in hey Carla like designed tissue paper which I think is just a really really nice touch um it as I said like it's an expensive box but this is like really all done with care so this is poster color in white i've never had poster color before but she says it's great for corrections and finishing touches and can be mixed with ink to make pale tones this brand is used by some animation studios in japan like studio ghibli to make background paintings so that's kind of cool um so yeah this is really cool um i'm gonna be excited to use this i don't want to throw away this uh, tissue paper because it's so nice so i'm just gonna wrap it back up in it um 
Next we have, let's see, and some more very nice tissue paper. Da, 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 da. I don't want to rip it because like, so I'm trying to get it where the masking tape is. There we go. So I can just unwrap. This is, oh, this is a black ink. So I have two of these because I got one in my, um, in my gray tone box. So that's cool. Actually, this isn't listed. So I think that I just got given an extra black ink. So that's really nice because um, black is a handy color to have extra of. Um, this is just some paper. Here is, oh, this is really good. So this is the, the thin washi masking tape. I use painter's masking tape at the minute and it does rip up my paper and it is thicker than this. So I'm really, really stoked to have this because this will give me really nice. All right, I had to switch to my phone to do this, so, because my memory card ran out, because I lost a memory card. I lost an SD memory card in my room, and it had a bunch of stuff on it that I needed, so I hope that I find it again. But anyway, let's do our next thing. So here we have the paintbrushes, I think, and these are all Holby, Holbein synthetic paintbrushes. Oh, it's making a very loud noise. Aha. So, oh, this is a Delita uh, pen. Um, which is cool. I love this brand, Delita. I bought a lot of their stuff while I was in Japan. Um, I bought a manga dip ink pen and like lots of paper pads. So this is really cool um, and it's very, very fine lined, which is cool. Um, so I'm excited to use this. And then we have a Pilot High Tech pen. I cannot see this. This is, aha, uh -huh. freehand sketching, she says. So that's cool. That's also very fine lined. Um, so we have, oh, these brushes are so nice. Uh, two of the Holbein synthetic brushes that she uses and then these are two Faber-Castell watercolour pencils that I know she does her pre-sketches in Faber-Castell watercolours so that's really cool. I have watercolour pencils um, and I'm always thinking that I should use them that I should use them for my sketching and I don't because I just end up using my um, my graphic pencil uh, so this is a primary colors ink set, another drawing that she did on the front using the primary colors. So you get yellow, magenta, and cyan blue. Um, I'm again not going to take these out because they look the same as the other ones, but I think they're 12 milliliters again. But this is really cool. And then it comes with two sets. So this is the complementary color set. So you get orange, violet, and sap green. So between the four sets of colors I've got, I can basically make a lot of things. Um, then there is a little card saying hey Carla so this is her shop I will put links to all her stuff in the description below in case you want to get one yourself um here is some very very nice watercolor paper um so this is 20 sheets of white 100% cotton acid free 300 g um this seems like very very nice paper not the kind of paper that you want to mess around on. And then this, which I was actually really excited for because I love Delita. I bought so many of these in Japan and I used them all up. So, and they uh, are the only place I can find that sells them to here because they don't sell them anywhere in Europe. It was one little art shop in France that ships here. And so I bought a whole bunch more and I've run out again. So this is cool. This paper is like a joy to paint on. Um, I mean, it's not ideal for watercolor, it does buckle, um, but I don't know, I just, I really, really enjoy it. Um, this is not A4, this is actually B5, um, and this is actually not A4, it's small as well, but that's kind of cool. So, yeah, that is the whole Hey Color art box. Um, it was $125, maybe $135 actually, and then each one of these was $25 on top of that. And I think I had to spend $190 to get the free shipping. Um, but I, as I said, I had been saving up for this and I'd been waiting for her to put the new set out. And like, at first I thought that they wouldn't ship to the UK and I was really, really sad. Um, but then I messaged them and they said, there's just like a, there's a, um, there's like a limit on it because of Brexit, Brexit. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to use the Hey Color Art stuff and I think you should check her out. Uh, I will post, she has an Instagram page, she has a YouTube page where you can watch really 
calming nice time-lapse videos of her painting um and yeah support small artists around you i'm not saying buy stuff from my shop but like support everyone around you that's doing some sort of creative thing like it's it's great to be able to put your stuff out there and have people appreciate it in that way and it's nice to be able to sell things and like know that your art has a home so if your friends are making youtube videos if they're taking photos if they're painting if they're making pottery if they're i don't know making resin things whatever they're doing if you can afford to support them in some way please try and do that um yeah i will probably make another video as i said comment below on the first character that you want me to draw I'll use one of my pads for it. Maybe a Studio Ghibli character. So tell me a Studio Ghibli scene that I should paint and I will paint it. Comment below. All right. This has been Mariam. Uh, I hope that the quality of this doesn't change because I've switched from my DJI camera to my phone. But hopefully it'll be fine. Um, yeah. This was Mariam saying have a good day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.